These are the tools that we use to do this job. On the left we have the needle nose pliers or long nose pliers. In the center we have a Phillips head screwdriver. And on the right hand side we have a crimping tool which is also a wire cutter and a wire gauge. It's a very handy tool. And you can usually buy a box of terminals and stuff with that tool in there for about $7.95. The first thing you do is lay the collectors down on their face on a clean surface that will not damage the collectors. This exposes the back so you can get at the terminal boxes and make the proper connections. Second thing you're going to do is remove the cover. After you remove the cover, just place the screws in the cover and push it over to one side so they won't get lost. Okay, we're going to feed that uh, wire through now. It's going to be used to make the harness. Just pull it right through. Now we're going to fasten it to the diode. The red one goes to the positive terminal, the black one goes to the negative terminal, and of course the red one is the one that has the reverse current diode on it. We're just going to go ahead and uh, strip the ends now on this and get ready to work with it. Now we're going to crimp a connector on the red uh, wire first. That connector is going to go to the diode. When we're ready, we're going to crimp the diode into the other end of that connector. Now we're going to put the blue connector around, which is going to be for the negative terminal on the panel. Now we're going to crimp the diode into the connector with the silver band facing in the direction of the current flow towards the battery. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bend that diode so we can make it fit into the box. Okay, now we bent the diode at a right angle. We bent the diode at a right angle, and now we're going to bend another right angle so we can get this into the fixture. Now we're going to put the black wire onto the negative terminal. Go ahead, you can put it on. Alright, now that junction box is all wired and we're going to move on to the next collector and we're just going to feed right off this spool of wire that we have here. You can see red to positive, black to negative, and that's it. Alright, we're going to move to the next collector now. This particular package only has two collectors and we're just going to set the wire down there we make a few measurements and uh, we'll pick it up from there in a minute. All right, now. This is what we're going to do. We pull the wire over to the next box, which is approximately in the same position it would be on the mounting rack. And now we're going to cut these, now we're going to cut these two wires off even right underneath the bottom of the connector. Go ahead, John, you can cut them now. All right, now we're going to cut about eight inches of wire to go up inside the next box so we can wire it in. And then we'll be stripping the ends.
We're using a pair of wire here. One's red and one's black. Now we're ready to put a connector on it, slip it up inside. These are the connectors we're going to use. Blue one goes on the negative terminal and the red one goes on the positive terminal and it also has to go through the diode, the blocking diode. Now we've crimped the diode onto the positive wire with the blocking end facing the battery. That's the silver end. And the blue terminals on the black wire, which goes to the negative lead. All right, now we're bending the diode so it'll fit in the box. second bend around like a U so we can fasten it to the terminal lug. That's how you fit the diode in. Then you screw everything down tightly. Put the cover back on the box. Okay, always remember the black wire goes to the negative terminal and the red wire goes to the positive terminal and it must have a blocking diode in it and the blocking diode must have the silver band facing the battery now we're going to strip the ends on the wires that we just brought over to this box and we're going to tie the reds together and we're going to tie the blacks together All right, you tie the two reds together and you tie the two blacks together. When you're ready to install this, you put black wire on the black lead, uh, red wire on the red lead, and they go to the solar charging regulator. And then from the charging regulator, there are terminals that go right to the battery to charge the battery. All right, now we've twisted the two black leads together and the two red leads together. That means the two collectors are tied to each other. Now we're going to run a single black wire to the charging regulator and a single red wire to the charging regulator. And then from the charging regulator we're going to run a black and a red wire to the batteries. Now we're going to put the cover back on these uh, two units and they'll be ready to go. For now, we're going to temporarily disconnect them because we've got to move them.